This is a brief tutorial on how to set up Arduino on Windows and be able to connect to it through a serial connection. We're going to use the TC Lab today and this is available from apmonitor.com slash heat.htm. It's this device that has an Arduino underneath and we're going to set up and connect to it. So the first thing that you need is Arduino software. If you just search for that and it will come to this download, you want to select the appropriate one. You can either get the app or I like to just get uh, Windows uh, download. Okay, you can contribute or just download. All right, and then go ahead and run this. Once it uh, finishes, it'll ask you for administrative privilege to do that. And then just go ahead and click install. Okay, so once this is done, then we can start uh, loading on the firmware. I'll just show you where to get that while this is going. Uh, just come to the TC Lab website, and if you come down to download TC Lab files, it'll download another zip file, and what we need is to just extract that. Okay, so I'm gonna extract this folder and I will open this up. Here is the folder that's extracted. You don't need the zipped archive anymore. And under Python TC Lab V2, it'll have this INO file. And that's the one that we need. Uh, once this finishes installing, we'll be able to load the firmware onto the TC Lab device. So if you just look at this with an editor like you know, this is Notepad++. It shows the C-like code that's there, the processing uh, code. And you can see some of the variables and the functions that control the connection to the serial interface. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and install the device drivers as well. And it looks like this has completed. Okay, so what we can do now is... Um, Go ahead and just launch this Arduino software. And all of the TC Labs come by default with this loaded on already. Uh, so this is only needed if you've run MATLAB or Simulink and it uh, puts a different firmware on or you want to modify the firmware for your own self. Okay, so I'm going to go to desktop and come down to TC Lab. All right, here it is, Python v2. This is the second version, and it opened up this. Okay, so what we will need to do now is go ahead and plug in the Arduino into the computer. And let me just show you what that looks like. Uh, so under the setup and troubleshooting, there's a diagram about what this looks like in terms of connecting it to the computer. So this blue cable is going to connect here to your computer. The white cable, that's for providing power to these heaters. So we don't necessarily need this part right now for this connection, just the USB blue cable to the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in as we're talking here. And I'll plug it in on one side and then into the computer and if you want to you can come into device manager just to see if it shows up under ports and you'll see that the Arduino Leonardo is connected with COM5 and there are also some commands that you can give in Mac OS or Linux to be able to see which port it is connected to and in Linux in particular, you may need to uh, give it some permissions to be able to access the USB port. Okay, so let's go ahead and just go with this. Now I need to go to Tools, and by default, it's selected Arduino Uno. So I need to go here and come down and select Arduino Leonardo instead, and then I can upload this to the board. You'll see that it's compiling the sketch and you'll see any messages here about any errors that might have taken place. Okay, if there is an error, I just recommend that you unplug it and replug it back in and try it again.
Okay, so here is an error. Um, so it couldn't find the board on the selected port. Um, check that you have the correct port selected. Okay, so this is good to see because we need to come here and also go to COM5. So there were two, it might have been trying to upload it to COM1. So go ahead and select COM5 and then just make sure this is Arduino Leonardo. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time. It's gonna compile the sketch and then upload it to the device. Okay, so it says done uploading and it looks like it was successful. So we can close this out. We only need to do that once um, unless you switch over to MATLAB and then want to switch back to Python. That is a one-time thing that you need to do. Okay, so we have this TC Lab folder. I'm gonna open this up. Here's, uh, here are some Python files and you can test it out now. So for example, test LED you can open it up with Jupyter Notebook uh, and copy this in. Okay, that's just text, um, or you can run it from IDLE or others. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn on the LED. Okay, so it's gonna turn it on to different levels. Okay, and then the other one that we can do is, you know, if you wanna test a PID controller for example, here is a PID controller. Just as an example with default tuning, you may need to uh, tune it and come up with better tuning constants for the PID controller. All right, it's gonna come up with this interactive figure here that's going to show the measured value, right here, the red dots, and then you also have the heater value. All right, so this comes with the TC Lab as the shield, and this firmware allows you to connect uh, with Python and be able to retrieve the measurements, but also be able to write the heater values and also be able to write the uh, LED level. Uh, we have some simulators here, just some models that uh, predict what it should be doing, and you can see the models are rising just a little bit faster than the measured values. And that is because I don't have the heater plugged in. All right, now the heater is plugged in. Um, so the temperature was not moving. Okay, you can see it was uh, down there near room temperature. And then we're going to now see it start to uh, increase uh, in the temperature because now the heater is plugged in. So that's just one other thing to check. If you're not seeing a heater response, just make sure that white cable on the top is plugged in and it's opposite of the side of the USB connection. So one of the common things that we see with this is, um, you know, maybe somebody plugged it in to the wrong side. So make sure it's these sides right here instead of uh, plugging it in down here. All right, so you can see the temperature rise now. These are the measured temperatures from the device and a PID controller is changing the Q1 value uh, in order to be able to get this red dot, these red dots up to the set point. So you can see some measurement noise here. Occasionally you see a signal drop out. Uh, that's just due to uh, electromagnetic interference or other things uh, and that's kind of normal for real devices with real measurements okay so this is increasing and then you'll see the Q1 start to drop off um, as it r starts reaching the set point and uh, there are more modules on how to build uh, these different applications if you're interested just come back here and there are a number of different modules that you can use for uh, learning Python, learning MATLAB. There's also the Process Dynamics and Control course with a number of different exercises here. So I'll just show you some of these on the schedule. Uh, it goes everywhere from simulation on the TC Lab to fitting basic models. There are also P, I, and D uh, control modules to help you understand the PID workings and then also feed forwards, uh, heater actuators, uh, temperature sensors, how those work 
and then a number of other activities with the TC lab. So for example, state space simulation, it has how to put these models into a state space form um, and so on. So that's just an example of some of the modules that are available with the TC lab. There's also the machine learning course as well. So you can use this TC lab for machine learning. Just come down to the TC lab project here on the right and it shows uh, a little bit about uh, data science with the TC lab. So there are 12 modules here with these uh, topics. So many different topics that you can cover with the TC lab. Um, everything from learning Python, uh, MATLAB, or Java. Uh, and there's going to be other languages as well that we're going to put in there, but it makes this, this interactive uh, learning experience with a device that you can change and see an effect. Okay, so that's how you load the firmware uh, onto the device. Once you're done with this, if you close it out, it's just going to pop back up again. So what you need to do is uh, come in and just kill this window for Python. Okay, but you should be connected here. Uh, if there are any problems with that, again, there are more detailed troubleshooting methods that are posted here. And as we get more of them, more feedback on any issues, we'll post them here to the Frequently Asked Questions. And I'll also post this video here about how to load the firmware. This is an older one right here. Uh, so this one is updated for the Arduino Leonardo.